welcome to part two of my overall setup video. Um, if you missed part one, be sure to check it out. The link will be in the description. Um, in this video, I'll be talking about the rest of my setup. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about is this chair right here. It's not exactly um, a gaming chair or anything, but it just looks really nice. I think I got it from eBay for about $70 to $80. Um, it's not the most comfortable chair, that's why I also had to buy that pad right there. It's a memory foam pad, and it really helps when you're sitting there for a long period of time. Um, the nice thing for this chair, for about the same price, um, if you went over to an, like, Office Max or Staples or something, for about $80, you'll get pretty much the same level of comfort of a chair, and a pretty standard looking, uh, computer chair. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about is these two 27 inch um, Samsung Curve monitors. Um, it's not a gaming monitor or anything, it just looks really cool. And from this angle you can't really tell it's a curved monitor except by the stand right there. Um, you actually have to walk to the side and then you could actually see the curve in it. Um, overall it's a pretty nice monitor and I think it was MSRP like around 350 and I got it for about 200 each so it's a pretty nice deal um, also as you can see from behind here I'll have these LED strips um, LED strips I think are about $15 um, it also comes with this remote right here you change the colors the different settings you can change it to purple red whatever color you really want I thought it really makes a nice little um, ambient light for the setup so that's why I got that and I also have a 32 inch Samsung LED TV um, it's hooked up to my Xbox and I also have an HDMI wire running to my desktop and I don't remember how much the price point for that one is I think it's around 220 um, but I got it for free with my S7 Edge so that's a pretty sweet deal um, Decided to mount it up there because it looks really nice and I could also watch TV or play Xbox over here. Um, so I have the Xbox controller. Um, I have the Razer Chroma headset right here. Um, it's a nice surround sound headset and obviously it's the Chroma edition so it changes colors and everything. Um, for my main speakers I have the Harman Kardon I think Soundsticks 2. I think it retails for around $160 and that sounds really good. Uh, let's see. And down here is my main computer case. I got the Razer H440 um, case from NZXT. The 16 gigs of RAM in here. Um, I, no, wait. AMD FX8530 processor and it's liquid cooled also added the blue LEDs uh, on the bottom right there and the green glowing fan um, overall it's a really nice case because it also has the LEDs underneath the case on both sides and also has the USB um, 3.0 slots the microphone and the headphone slot and a couple of um, USB 2.0 slots right here on the top there is actually a couple of different options to go to in the case. I went with the H440 um, just because it has like a nice, a more of a nice design. Um, I found it on the Razer website and it led me to the MZXT website. It's about $150. Um, there's also another Razer edition, I think the S340. It's about $100, but there's a difference in design between the two. This one also has the, let me see, the Razer logo on the side right there, as you can see, and this one doesn't. Um, for $50 difference, uh, the design looks a lot better. There's also like the plain edition for about $70, so $20 more for the Razer edition case, and this one's $120 for... Um, the plain edition of the one that I have and that should be about it for this video um, 
if you have any questions about anything about my setup, let me know in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you.